welcome to the Kingdom O Magic. I'll be your host as you attempt to survive and succeed in this comedy epic. But now, without further ado, let's choose which character you want to play. Sydney. He's mean, he's green, he's a questing machine. Fond of power tools and small children, Sydney is no magician, but he's a bit handy in the combat department. Sharon. She's smart, she's gorgeous, she's not thrilled with the costume we've given her. A magic specialist, she lists her hobbies as particle physics, writing crime novellas, and making fools suffer gladly. Okay, you've met the characters and now it's make your mind up time. Who will you choose? Well done, you've chosen Sydney! Oh, yeah, beauty! No! All right, now let's pick a quest. The good, old-fashioned, traditional quest. What fantasy product would be complete without a good, old-fashioned, traditional quest? I don't know, but we have one here, so that's all right. In the good, old-fashioned, traditional quest, your chosen character must rescue the dragon, steal the princess, and kill the treasure. Actually, there isn't a princess, but you get the idea. This is probably the easiest of the three quests. The bizarre and slightly twisted quest. In this, the weirdest of the quests, you undertake to save the kingdom from a fate worse than something horrid by seeking out and recovering the lost lava lamp of the ancients and, time permitting, thrashing the Dark Lord to within an inch of his life. This is the toughest of the quests and should not be attempted by old women or people named Julian. The Magnificent 7-Eleven Quest. When you learn that the sleepy metropolis of Flake Town is under threat of invasion, you offer a promise to round up between seven and eleven unfeasibly hard fellows to defend the liberty of the town and protect its inhabitants from harm. This is quite a difficult quest. Okay, you've seen the scenarios. Now, choose your quest! Aha! You've chosen the good, old-fashioned, traditional quest. Well, let's not waste another moment. On with the adventure! I'm going to be a little bit of 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 a little bit
Were you born like that or is cosmetic surgery to blame? You're no oil painting yourself. <laughs> Compared to you, I'm the peak of perfection. Peak of the freaks, more like. You haven't even got any hands or feet on your face. You're subnormal. You don't mingle much socially, do you? Not with mutants like you. But you've got no genitals. A machine of vending. What luck! Here you can purchase all manner of nasty little rubber novelties, protective latex wear and party balloons. But no! Cruel fate has put salt in the sugar bowl. For today, the machine is empty. I guess that Big Jim Slade has been here before us. You don't want to look at that. You'll break it, you unsightly green thing, you. Nice weather we're having. Um, yeah, nice weather. Boring conversation. Pardon moi, my officious looking friend, but is this the address of the establishment I wish to address? That all depends on you, hair hair impaired one. Oh, it's the old, that all depends on me, Betty. Nein! Actually, it's the old, are you smart enough to do the right thing to proceed successfully through the game, bit. I will have you know that I was voted most likely to wear rubber undergarments in high school. Somehow, I am not surprised. So what's with all the wigs? This is a wig shop. Get out of town. A wig shop. What will they think of next? Brave new world. Hopefully, a sequel to this game without you in it. So, do you want to buy a wig or not? Today's special costs just one good piece. Will it even fit on my finicky head? Ah, now that's the exciting part. The organic fibers are scientifically engineered to grip the scalp and hug it like a big old grizzly bear in heat. Oh, sounds snug. May I try it on? Certainly. Hey, now what do you think? Is that a great wig or what? You don't think it's a bit, uh... Nine! It's not a little. Of course not! I really look... Fantastic! The hell? What you say? I... I'll buy it! Sold! For one gold piece! We have ways of making you talk. I wish also we had ways of making you shut up. They probably contain wigs for other clients, judging by the initials. B R T S M K. Can you 
guess the clients' names? Answers on a postcard to our usual address, please. This is nine of the time, nor the place to be wearing such a thing. Meet Goliath the Dwarf, one of the race of, uh, well, of dwarves, obviously. The dwarves are a people of limited interests, occasionally dabbling in a spot of gold mining, gold smelting and gold hoarding, all of which makes them particularly prone to outbreaks of... War! War! Yes, that. And fortunately, war! is their chief interest. There's nothing they like better than an all-out invasion by a neighbouring tribe, so long as they're shorter than the dwarves. Whoa! Whoa! War. Huh. What's it good for? Absolutely nothing. Say it again. War, huh? What's it good for? Absolutely, absolutely everything. I sense a difference of opinion. Uh, let's fight a war over it. There's only two of us. We could have a skirmish, but it wouldn't be an all-out war. It takes more than two combatants to make a war. Who's counting? I am. Counting the seconds of my life being wasted talking to a dwarf. the red and white pole that is the traditional business sign of the hairdresser. Its origins date back to the time when people went to the barber shop for a shave and got cut to ribbons, hence the colours. In the case of this establishment, that was still the case up until last week. Brochure. A brochure of some, see, and tomfoolery. Do you want to catch some rays to bronze up and get a tan? Well, affordable sunlight drips from every page of this informative publication. have to get my hands on that. You can try. So it's like that, is it? I only want to do something wonderful with your head. Don't make me chase you. I would like a radical restyling with a tousled fringe, layered nape, and a central parting. That's very demanding of you. But let's just wait and see what emerges from my muse. Once my creativity is flowing, there's no saying what will happen. There! Ah! You love it! I knew you would! My best yet. Ah! What am I going to do? Don't thank me. Don't pay me. Don't praise my artistic genius. It was such a pleasure to work on you. Here, take this hairspray. 
Use it twice hourly to maintain the fine style. It'll give you body. It'll give you lift. Oh! I don't want to let go of you, but the world must see my beautiful creation. Go out there and give it to them. What happened to my gorgeous masterpiece? Oh, the weather ruined it. Wind, rain and ultraviolet rays. I hate you. You hate me? No, not you, my little bouffant. The uncaring elements. Those are my enemies. Those who molest my masterpieces. The wind who tosses. Tosses, tosses my art out of all recognition. The rain, which makes a limp travesty out of my most rigid creations. Oh, it would be better for the world of hair if there were no weather at all. Aye, all that tossing, all that limpness. Tossing, limpness. Let's put all that behind us, like a piece of history breathing on our necks, thrusting into us the significance of our past mistakes. <sighs> Shall I do you again? Yes, please. Ah, but what use would it be? You don't go outside again. Yes, uh, and display your masterpiece. You'd get into all kinds of rough adventures, and where would your hair be then? Still on my head. I can't afford to ruin my reputation. No! I have an idea. Why don't you bring a friend and I'll do him? Oh, I don't know. You can watch. Anyway, I can't stand here and chat all day. I've got things to do. That's the emergency exit from the hall, oh dancing. You can't go in that way. The entrance is on the square, just up the street. You can't miss it. Ah, a caged child. Hungry little fellow, by the looks of him, but he doesn't seem to talk much. So tell me about the caged child. He is my grandson. Looks just like his twin brother. The resemblance is remarkable. Where is his brother? It was a tragic accident. That's why we have to keep him in a cage, you see. Ah, uh, no, I don't see. And who could blame you? It was a terrible thing after all. Tell me about this. Accident. We just wanted him to slim down a bit. They had bunk beds together, and we didn't want him to fall through. In the morning, his brother was gone, and he was so, so full. That's terrible. Well, every silver lining has a cloud. Run along now, and do feel free to visit again. How does it feel to be decrepit, your mind wandering aimlessly through your twilight years? Oh, it's not too bad. Except for the occasional encounters with random pinheads such as yourself. I think we understand each other. Place in a preheated oven for 20 minutes until the crust turns golden brown. Then again. Is there anything else you can tell me? Oh, yes. For one thing, the prices were much more reasonable in my day. I mean something relevant to my quest. I don't 
don't know about quests, but I do know about vests. Very important to wear a warm woolly vest, especially in this cold weather. Thank you for your cooperation, Bizarre Hag. Leave the cage alone. I've got a spare set of teeth, and I'm not afraid to use them. Okay, darling, you know the drill. Do not touch the cage. Do not approach the cage. Do not pass him anything. If he attempts to pass you anything, do not accept it. I'll be here watching you the whole time. You'll be fine. Back away, you deadbeat! Touch that cage and you're asking for a world of hurt! Leave the cage alone. I've got a spare set. Back away. Okay, darling. Wow! An Elvis impersonator! Go on, sing something. Great! I finally discovered an Elvis impersonator, and the only number he does is Silent Night. Oh, what's going on here? If only I had some sort of a clue. Are you stuck trying to figure out your next move? Not sure which troll to kill first? Hi, I'm Saul Gribnik, president of Hint Helpers, Inc., and I want you to know that no matter what situation you find yourself in, we've got the helping hints for you. Sure, we charge more than those other guys, hey, but when it comes to winning, aren't two gold coins worth the price? Get lost, clue, cowboy. I can work this out on my own. Pardon me if I don't hold my breath. Goodbye forever, loser. Now let me think. Um... figure it out sooner or later. Do you really like peanut butter and banana sandwiches? Now isn't a good time to be going in there. Come back tonight and try again. Do you really like Leaky, deaky threads? Sounds like a costume hire shop to me. Ask the nice lady behind the counter if you want something. May I be of some assistance? I don't know. Um, what kind of costumes do you have? Let me see what's available.
like the look of this one. That looks great. It looks like it was made for you. Ah, the old locked door trick. Get them every time. Ah. There appears to be a small secret button compartment hidden in the top. I bid thee welcome, stranger. Who art thou, and what art thou? Ah, uh, well, the name's Sydney, and, ah... Uh... Well, let's see. I I'm just a harmless little green fellow who's uh, incredibly sorry to have disturbed you. And, uh, uh... Green, the most certainly art. Now, what goeth well with that? Red wine or white? <laughs> oh, that was a close one. You know, there's a lesson to be learned here. Don't go up any strange passageways without taking precautions. What do you think? Am I on the A-list? Go on. I expect the bartender will be back in a minute. How's it hanging, uh, Disco Dude? Ah! Beings from another world! Our weapons are useless against them! Panic! Flee! Run away! Hide! I didn't think my outfit was that bad, as a matter of fact. Oh well, go oh, home. Greatest performance. Touch me. Fill me. 
Nu! These funky platform shoes are super cool daddy O. Headstrong, the industrial strength hairspray that's flammable. You can't go in there just now. Try again in the morning. What you're wearing suddenly seems rather inappropriate. <laughs> Structurally insecure peer. It's a criminal offence to tamper with official police tape. There, across the water, is Baker's Isle. If the ferryman hasn't already told you all about it, I'm sure he soon will. Your situation is untenable, you freakoid ferryman. Untenable? What do you mean? You haven't got a leg to stand on. I've got one? Yes, but you haven't got a spear, have you? <laughs> May I take ye for a ride? No. Okay then, stay grounded. So now ye wish to cross the lake. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 back to you, ye nicker poop! Master of Magic, whose skills are unsurpassed in all the kingdom and whose magical products are always in demand, he has written 50 best-selling magic manuals that have been translated into 76 languages. The gnomish version of his latest book, How to Cast Spells and Influence People, has sold over 2 million copies in hardback alone. He's rich, powerful, respected, and admired. He's a silly little man in a pointy hat. What's the deal with a pointy hat? Uh, I keep things in it, such as, well, right now, I've got a couple of handy magical accessories, including a brand new kind of magic wand. It's one of my most popular items. What's the good about it? Well, it looks like a microphone and, um, well, well it's really good. Interested, are you? Oh, I love magical gimmicks! Really? You remember those little boxes that you put a coin into, and then when you open the box again, the coins vanished? Yeah, I had one of those! I designed that trick. So loads of them too. So... So how come you're reduced to wandering around the kingdom like some... Well, some lonely old has-been. <laughs> hmm. 
You are learned in the ways of straight talk, aren't you? But it's true. I don't have much of a life. Ah, oh, if only I had a little friend. Nothing else would matter. Me and this friend, what fun we'd have. How happy we'd be. We'd talk and talk into the small hours, forgetting all about magic. I love the way those clues are seamlessly woven into the dialogue. That's craftsmanship, that is. Is it? Could it possibly be the Loch Ness Monster? No, it's just a rock. It's an unusual statue, staring through a pair of stone binoculars at something further along the valley. Odd. this guy supposed to be doing? Aerobics? Well, I suppose he could do with loosening up a bit. He's rigid. Great action pose. If we had another statue that we could put on top, then it would be uh, quite childish, really. Another statue. Oh, look. This one's got one of those humorous stoned again t-shirts on. How ironic. So, we meet if I might have a word. Great voice. Thank you. I was being sarcastic. To be honest, I don't really care about your opinions. So where are you from? Villains are us? With a voice like that, you should be playing the evil mastermind character in an old Bond movie. If you knew who I was, you wouldn't be speaking like that. Go on then, tell me who you are. I am Pinhead. Leader of the Orcs. Go on. Well, that's it, really. Oh, right. Fine. Glad we were able to clear that up. Important to clarify these things. I might have a word. Hello there, Orc. My name is Pinhead. 
You may have heard of me. Pinhead, were you that guy who ran for president against Clinton? No, that was a gnome. I am an orc. The difference is some 18 inches of height, 90 extra IQ points, and about 10,000 years of serious evolution. The other guy then? You know, the one with all the nails sticking out of his scalp. I have no idea what you're talking about. I expect you feel that way most of the time. You obviously don't know who you're speaking to. I know. Why don't you tell me your favorite film? Then I'll guess from that who you are. Uh, well, all right then. Four weddings and eight funerals. That was the original one, where they all died at the end. So, who am I then? I don't know, but you've got dreadful taste in films. Right. Ew. Sorry, but the shoes and spats are fused to the ground. You will have to leave them where they are. A burnt out pair of shoes, smouldering spats, all fused to the hard ground, as if, as if, as if some big, simple soul had been wandering through the woods when they spontaneously combusted. It's a security door entry card, marked with the name Mr. Wally Stone. It's a note from the game's designers, and it reads... Use the door entry card on the Moronica door, you moron! The fabled sword oh normalness. There's nothing special about this weapon. It's a compact yet stylish mobile phone. For sale, eh? I don't know. This place has been on the market for quite a while, and it's miles away from anywhere. There aren't any shops or amenities. Good parking, though. This sign points the way towards the dark tower of Dull Gilda former lair of the evil one and place of outstanding natural beauty. Hello! It's a lovely day, isn't it? Every day is a lovely day in the forest. You elves certainly are a tree-loving folk. <laughs> Those allegations were never proved. What's the word on the street? 
Well, they say there's something going on in the valley near Flake Town. Such as? Well, there's a number of new statues down there, and we haven't had that kind of trouble since the Gorgon left. You think she's back? Well, let's just say that either she's back or she's not back. Oh, come to the Elven Wisdom. This sign points the way to the northern reaches of the Backwood Forest, which is probably not entirely unlike this, the southern reaches of the Backwood Forest. We've got a cow! A lovely cow! can't be taken. It must be earned. We're not coming down, and there's nothing you can say to persuade us. I don't know what you're trying to do, but it isn't working. It's a cow hole. You can't go wrong with cows. We've got a whole cow, and you haven't. Mother told us not to talk to strangers. Civilized. There's no need to go poking around in litter bins. The bin has Keep DeLorean Tidy written on it in environmentally friendly ruins. The sign has the ancient saying Please keep DeLorean Tidy, dispose of your litter thoughtfully written on it in Helvetica ruins. Behold, a ring wraith. One of nine black-robed fiends who scour the land in search of one thing. They have only one desire, one all-encompassing passion. Food cannot satisfy their insatiable hunger. Sex means nothing to them. Computer games, movies, and other forms of entertainment do not interest them in the slightest. The ring wraiths each have a single burning purpose, to seek out a magic ring. Watch how this one sniffs the air for a whiff of a magic ring. But unfortunately, there aren't any magic rings in the Kingdom of Magic. So these hard-as-nails ring wraiths are wasting their time. It's quite pathetic, really. Rings! Rings! So you're looking for magic rings, huh? Yes, Einstein. I'm a ring wraith. I look for magic rings. It's what I do. And do you find it fulfilling? Fulfilling? I haven't really thought about it. I suppose it has the potential of fulfillment. But since I haven't actually found any magic rings yet, I have yet to experience that particular... Hey! Do you know what I do find fulfilling? Oh, do tell. This. Rings! Rings!
don't jump off the top of the waterfall. That's good sensible advice. We need more signs like this in the kingdom. That's a dangerous looking waterfall. A person would have to have exactly the right vessel to survive going over the edge of that. This subtle hint is brought to you courtesy of SCI's customer support team. Don't call us, we'll call you. Here's another one of those ring raids who scour the land in search of magic rings. If you have any pity, bestow it on this poor creature. Or kill him. It's not up to me to tell you how to play the game. Rings! Rings! There aren't any magic rings in the Kingdom of Magic. Oh, I've heard that before. You have? Oh yes, many times. But you still continue to look for magic rings? My boss reckons it's a rumour, that's all. No substance to it. It's true! You shouldn't believe everything you're told. I'm going to kill you now. I don't believe you. There's so many things you can do with a fist. But for now, let's just use it to hit people. It's a dirty, great axe. The sort of thing that can be so important in persuading other people to see your point of view. Email will be the death of conventional correspondence. What do you think this is? A gardening show? Leave the lilies alone and consider your quest. Ugly. Yes, I'm talking to you with a hey nonny nonny. Now wait just a minute. Sorry old chum, time's against you. I've got to beat you up and be quick about it. Rules, you know. Out of my hands. It's a litter bin. Don't waste your time. Majesty, what can you tell me about the West Gate of Moronica? The word on the street is that the West Gate is guarded by an evil creature who lurks in the sewer lake, dragging poor adventurers to an unhygienic death. It is said that one day the waters will run clear and the creature will return to the depths from whence it came. Really? I shouldn't think so. It's just a legend. And you know how unreliable legends can be. Still, no smoke without fire, as anybody who's ever been cremated will tell you. Tell me about DeLorean, Your Highness. You want to know about DeLorean? Let me tell you about DeLorean. DeLorean is one of the few places in the world where you can't find ice. And if, like me, you've got a hot beverage that's too darn hot, ice is the very thing you need.
sit not upon these seats, for they are elven seats meant for elven sitters. They will not fit your ad Seek not to use the banqueting table of the elves for your own selfish It's a sign! Touch not the water of the elves! This is what we in the trade refer to as a signpost. It's a marvellous invention used in navigation. Greetings. I'm Sydney. Who might you be? My name is Eden. Like the garden? Yes, and I've heard all the associated jokes about a million times, so save your breath. So, uh, how's it going? I heard tell that the ferry near Rivendell was out of order. A friend of mine tried to use it the other week, and the crank handle mechanism was missing. You think it's vandalism? No, I think it's postmodernism. Of course it's vandalism. It's probably the same people who trashed that car on the East Road. Young tearaways. I blame the parents. No. Almost all of society's problems can be traced back to not playing enough computer games. Really? Absolutely true. Look at this recent report. And then all the advertising she's seen and heard starts running through her mind. Now watch it. A $75 bargain. I see the truth of it. This place has been on. Sorry, there 
is no answer. Please check the number you are trying to dial. For sale, eh? Can I tempt ye with a scenic lake trip? Yes. Try to contain your enthusiasm and give me three gold pieces. What are ye waiting for? Oh, not much. A fall in interest rates. The perfect partner to come walking into my life. The end of civilization as we know it. You know, all that. Well, in the meantime, climb aboard the ferry. Many years ago. The baker was spurned by the rest of the town for his unnatural experiments with dough. Well, clearly this doughnut was the devil's work, and without a moment's hesitation, the town leaders sawed off the baker's bit of the town and cast it adrift. It finally came to rest some distance to the east, where it remains to this day. Mothers scare their children with stories of the twisted breadmaster, and a sinister glow can still be seen across the water on certain nights as the ovens of evil bake forth their satanic wares. Hello! You're a water elemental, aren't you? My, what a rippling muscles you've got, YMCA. I work out. I bet you could turn that water wheel without even breaking a sweat. Sweating's a complex thing, but I was water elemental. Easy. It certainly was, sucker! Ah, so you think you're a tough cookie? Well, I'll just have to thank you. Hey, pussycat, relax, don't get your back up.
If I hear another word out of you, I'll rip off one of your legs and kick you to death with it. You got a nice voice, but the lyrics are terrible. I'm out of here. I'm gonna lick you like a lollipop. Tell me no. All right, all right. Keep your armor on. What do you want? A glass of refreshing beer. Here's your beer. I can't testify as to its refreshing qualities. Most folks drink it for the opposite effect. Pay me first. Don't you trust me to pay you after I've drunk it? I wouldn't trust anyone to remember their own name after a glass of this potent brew. I'd like to... I can't... Why have I not? I've only got my usual substandard hospitality. Flat beer or a lumpy mattress. Take your pick. Lumpy mattress, please. That'll be one gold piece. For a lumpy mattress? I guess this must be the economy option. Tell me, what do I get for two gold pieces? Two lumpy mattresses. Ah! The bulk discount doesn't kick in until you order ten lumpy mattresses. Ten lumpy mattresses? But we've only got three, so the full price applies. Oh, God. I'll just take the one, then. A wise choice. It's a security door entry card marked with the name Mr. Wally. Silence! You will speak only when spoken to. Hello, sweet.
sweet old grand. Oh, I can't complain too much. Of course, things were different in my day. No, I believe I'd prefer to be basted in chocolate spread and thrown into a pit of hungry bears. Chocolate spread? Oh, we didn't have chocolate spread in my day. We had to make do with mud. Oh, I can taste it now. Lovely on a bit of bread it was. Are you sure that you aren't supposed to be in that cage? Heavens! I haven't been in a cage since I was a teenager. <laughs> I remember we'd spend April on my cousin's farm. What was the farm like? It's not that I'm interested in farms. I'm just trying to steer this conversation into a more sensible direction. It was a wonderful place. I mean, no offense to farmers, but I prefer castles and things. A small farm nestling at the foot of the mountains. There we are. The conversation's improving already. Magnificent herds of cabbages roaming across the hillside. Ah. While we planted cows in the meadow. You're out of your tiny mind. And you're out of your depth. I may be a wrinkled old prune whose elevator is on, but nobody's home. Uh, well, just you watch it or I'll make you regret those words. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying euthanasia is everyone's cup of tea. Cup of tea? Oh, yes. A nice cup of tea would be lovely. I'll just go and put the kettle on. Please disperse. Nothing to see here. Move along. You don't want to cross me, but you want to cross the lake, yes? Yes. Try to contain your enthusiasm. What are you waiting? Oh, not well in the m many mothers. too heavy for you to move. What a lovely box, chest, what have you. And there's a hungry child inside who isn't coming out. superhero. A super gingerbread man. The bellows are operated remotely. There's nothing you can do in here to make them work, but perhaps if you went outside? to do anything with the capacitor. Well, not directly anyway. You don't need to do anything
Ready for the return journey? Um, oh, I'm not sure. Take your time. The meter's running. Ready? Yes, Colonel. Take me back to the mainland, to civilization and sanity! I don't know where you'll find those. Okay, then. Take me back to post-barbaric feudalism and relative sanity. Climb aboard, then! Please, disperse. Nothing to see here. Mm. Donuts. Oh, move along. Oh, so it's the donuts you want, is it? That's right, Einstein. Now drop them. Nice and slow. Easy with that gun, policeman. Soldier. Pilgrim. Rich man. Poor man. <clears throat> Let's not do anything we might both regret later. Yeah? Like what? Like rent one of those Police Academy movies. What ever happened to Steve Gutenberg anyway? He's producing. Now give me the goods. Here you go. These golden shoes will give you all the height you need, and more! Oh, really? Yeah, solid gold. Now I'm ready for war! Yes, those shoes provide the ideal platform from which to launch a battle campaign. Oh, oh, oh. War! War! Now isn't a good time. A wonderful statue of the Gorgon. Most lifelike.
Morgan and her two sisters, Mabel and Phyllis, would practice their song and dance routines in their bedroom for hours at a time. They nurtured hopes. They cherished fantasies of themselves on stage, adored by millions of sad, deluded fans. And with the help of sequined dresses, crates of makeup, and an unscrupulous bastard of a manager, their dream came true. They were the Gorgon Sisters. Oh, that. A sequence of bizarre tragedies struck down their career in its prime. Jealousy! You've got to the loudest voice! Oh, you get all the attention! No, not me. Scandal! Your hair at my feet! You turn all our rock bands to stone! Oh, no! And artistic differences. Your singing is crap! <coughs> you look weird! You're not human! We're, We're going, going solo. solo! No! The Gorgon sisters were no more. It's just a statue, lying there, on the bed, smoking a stone cigarette. Hmm. It's a Kingdom O Magic action figure, not available in any shops, 93 to collect, with movable arms and legs. This one is meant to be the high steward of minor tragedy. Hmm, looks just like him too. It's a paper bag. I used to have a paper bag. Once. Not that you're interested, of course. Oh no, you'd rather be staying in luxury in some five-star hotel in the Bahamas, wouldn't you? But I did have a paper bag, all the same. And you can't take that away from me. Because I wasn't as fortunate as you. My paper bag burned to ashes in the great fire of 73. So, just you count yourself lucky, okay? I don't know what you're trying to do. Clear off you, I'm busy. I don't know what you're trying
Aha! The legendary sword, oh much greatness, a mighty weapon, as anyone who's ever had it stuck to their guts will tell you. It's worse than that, he's dead, Jim! We meet again, but this time the advantage is mine. All mine. <laughs> <laughs> You can't go in there just now. The time for talk is past. <laughs>
what you're wearing suddenly seems Be a beer you are. I'd like to. I can't. Why have I not? I've only got my usual flat beer, please. One gold. For another gold piece, I could add a little fizz to your drink. That's extortionate. Double the price for a few poxy bubbles. They may be a few poxy bubbles to you, but my employees go to great effort to manufacture those gaseous miracles. I have no desire to continue any conversation that includes the phrase gaseous miracles. Good day to you, noble king. You look like you could use some ice in that drink. Wise words, young tourist. But where's the king to find ice around here? It's all right, everybody. I've got some. I say, that's wonderful. What can I give you in return? Is that a wrench in your pocket, or are you just pleased to see me? Wrench? Oh yes, the wrench I keep down my trousers. I'm sure it'll come in useful on your quest. Off you go and have fun with it. Mmm, nice and warm too. No, don't disturb me. I'm reliving the final moments of Jean-Paul Bouddier's Abattoir Summer in my head. Original black and white version in Polish with sub Please don't waste my time. You've said your piece. Now go away and continue your quest. Let's play Learn to Read. Can you sound out these words? Yes. 
good for you. You want to rummage around in the bin? Why not go the whole hog and push a shopping trolley full of junk and sit in alleys and talk to buildings and stuff? No, sure I can't tempt you. Oh well. Now, I've seen some big trees in my time. This is one big tree. Quite fortunate the way it's fallen across the river and saved the SCI graphics team drawing in another bridge, wouldn't you say? Ugly. Yes, I'm talking to you with a hey nonny nonny. Do I know you? You see, all you orcs look the same to me. No, oh, that's harsh. True, but harsh. And I bet you all fight the same too. That last one was hardly worth the thrashing I gave him. Choose your next words carefully, for they will soon be engraved on your tombstone, making any errors rather difficult to correct. Sorry, what was that? I wasn't paying attention. Tragic. Let's fight! <laughs> what a magnificent sight to behold. <laughs> as the forest river plunges down towards the southern plains. Legends tell the cave, hidden somewhere around here, possibly in that very rock face. But then legend is all... The noble statue of King Vasilax IV last true king of minor tragedy stands here. His hand raised in the traditional battle salute of the Tragwegians. His head stolen by vandals. Which is ironic because in real life his head was stolen by vandals, thus ending the royal line. No, don't touch that stone. I feel that there's something about it. Something evil. No, don't. No. A small, unobtrusive stone. Hello, how may I serve you? Floor one selected. Hello, how... Floor three selected.
There aren't any much. There's no terribly long words in this one. You should be able to read it yourself. Although this is a completely sealed stone container, through the magic of computer graphics, SCI is able to show you this high-resolution picture of the inside of the box. No, don't thank us. Your money is all the praise we require. I'd like a beer. You'd like a beer. I might have guessed. In you come, sauntering up to the bar, and you'd like a beer. That's all you want from me. You and all the other customers. If it's not beer, it's lodging. Or pointless chatter. You're an innkeeper. That's why you exist. It's an existential nightmare. What is? All of it. Me, you, this bar, the kingdom. I can't handle it. Look, sell me a beer before you break down. <laughs> Enjoying your beer? Yes, thanks. How can you? How can you enjoy anything? Well, you're not making it easy. I'd like a bed for the night. To sleep? Well, of course to sleep. You're lucky. I can't sleep. Haven't slept for 17 years. Ooh, bummer. Do you have an alternative method of relaxation? Only one thing works to ease the fevered thinking of my overactive mind. Hmm. Novel technique. I'll try the bed if you don't mind. Would you care to play a game? I don't know. What kind of game did you have in mind? Uh, now there's a question I'd better answer carefully. Is it anything to do with that strange pivoting table you have there in the corner? Uh, forgive me, my mind was elsewhere. Uh, yes, the game involves manipulating the table and is simple yet strangely rewarding. Yes, very well. Let the game begin.
he's just your everyday little yellow fellow. He's very friendly and would make somebody a good pet. What a lovely picture. Although I didn't think they were big on ray traced 3D images in medieval times. Hello there, Mr. Ninja Baker. Ah, so, we meet again. Ah, uh, no. I've never seen you before in my life, actually. You do not deceive me, Dr. Sukiyaki. I know it is you. Your feeble attempts at trickery do not fool me for a minute. I see through your pitiful disguise in an instant. You're mad, aren't you? That's what my arch enemy, Dr. Sukiyaki, always said to me. You are Dr. Sukiyaki. I am Dr. Sukiyaki. So, you admit that you are Dr. Sukiyaki, my old nemesis. Surely now you will meet your doom at last. I will not meet my doom. And don't call me Shirley. Thank you. You dishonor the sacred jokes of our ancestors. For that you will pay. Cash or charge? Cash. And let that be a lesson to you. You certainly showed me. Go about your business and trouble me no more. I'll bet you're a big Bruce Lee fan. What? Yeah, me too. I love that guy. All right. You've had your fun. Now I command you to be silent. I have work to do. You are wasting your time. Regrettably, all of these loaves are reserved for the High Steward. Aha! A general store! The very place for a spot of shopping! Can I help you? Yes. I have come here to shop. Then you've come to the right place because, by sheer good luck, this is a shop. Show me what you've got. I'll take this. Ah, uh, sorry, too late. The Gorgon bought the last action figure a few days ago. This is a non-functioning display item and not for sale. I don't know what you're trying. This seems to be a common problem in general stores. The big jar of solidified sweets that nobody has touched for decades. If you want something... Can I help? Now, just let me think what I need. Um, where's that left? Just let me know when you're ready.
You can't enter the palace with that thing. What thing? That ugly face of yours. Only kidding. <laughs> that weapon. You can't enter the palace with a weapon. In that case... You will take care of the weapon for me? I sure will. Very good. Now, stand with your legs spread. <laughs> I'll tell you, it's great fun being a figure of authority. <laughs> what you waiting for? You can go in now. You join me outside the splendid palace of minor tragedy, where another unarmed adventurer has mistakenly wandered into an audience with the High Steward. This is Rex Montana, returning you to your regular scheduled viewing. You can't enter the palace with that What thing? That I don't like being told what I can and can't do. Then you've come to the wrong place. Ugh! 
using the wrench, you are able to make essential repairs and improvements to the right guard plumbing system. I don't know what you're trying. Hawks on the masses who threaten to take away my long johns. I'll pour tar on their nasties and and and, and, and something else that rhymes with cheese. Good morrow, kind sir. That's right, Neil. I love your brownies. Course in my day, we could conjure a cloud of dust from a cat's coughed up hairball. <laughs> oh, there it is. And I thought the dryer ate that sock. Now, where was I? Oh yes, right here. Hungry? No, uh, nauseous. Goodbye. <gasps> I How What's this? A little yellow fellow? A friend? A companion to share my somewhat dull existence with? Oh, I can't express my joy. What can I give you in payment? What have you got? I've got a magic wand shaped like a microphone. Ah, uh, oh. You got anything else? Just some other magic wands. They're shaped like microphones too. Um, no, all right. I'll take it. There you are. Right. I'm off to live happily ever after with my new friend. See you around. I don't know what you're... You must leave 
this place. For lo, I will pass gas very soon now. Who are you talking to? Remember that muttering away to yourself is the first sign of madness. Me. Rupert comes in to look after things when I have to go where Trust me, this weighty boulder is hiding with a major problem. Don't use it yet. Rupert comes in to look after things when I have to So this is where Great Uncle Durin ended up. And to think the names I called him when he failed to show up for our card game on that fateful Tuesday night. Oh well. Upon my... Hey, are you orcs all related to each other? If you know what I mean. That's a massively offensive thing to say. Let's fight! <laughs> These warning signs are a great help. It's one of those useless ma- Hello. How many of you orcs are there? Plenty. But I'm the last one you'll ever see. You sound sure of yourself. Actually, I'm plagued with self-doubt, riddled with angst, and racked by guilt brought on by my senseless behavior. Really? No, really, I'm self-confident. Let's fight. <laughs> 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 
Ugh. A drink, please. Here. A bed. Please? A bed, please. Pay. You're a bundle of laughs, aren't you? Mm-hmm. No. This fine arcade sub-game was removed, if you can believe it, at the last minute due to alleged legal problems. Now, what do you call a thousand lawyers at the bottom of the sea? I say, a good start. Rupert comes in to look after things when I have to go where we all have to go. You guys just A beer in keep and none of your frivolous banter. What? Give me a beer and don't go bending my ear with your incessant chatter. Sure. Hey, less of that small talk. <laughs> what? My wit's wasted on you, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> A bed, please. Thank you. I know that if you weren't so conversationally challenged, you'd say, sleep well and wake refreshed. No. You really want to wish me a good night's sleep, don't you? Uh-huh. No. A bed. A bed? Yes. For you? Me? Pay now. You're putting more effort into your conversation. That's good to see. Yeah. Won't last. That would be too much to ask. Stupid old me. I don't know. It's an eye on a stick. Action. Ah, 
What do you think this is, a gardening show? Leave the lilies alone and consider your quest. It's empty. Email will be the death. I wouldn't use that toilet if I were you, it's blocked. Oh dear. I don't know what... Yeah. I don't know. He's stoned, man. Daylight just doesn't agree with these facts. 15 trolls. away from the tire. Your life is in danger. This tire is fitted with an anti-death device. I don't know... Why? The Shire. Closed? Ah, yes. I heard something about that. Black riders cruising the countryside. Riotous parties. Dogs and cats living together. It was a mess. It's a shame, because this was the Kingdom's biggest tourist attraction, but that's what happens when the Dark Lord thinks you've stolen one of his magic rings. It's a step. You have reached the gates of Edam, a famous town where the rich and frivolous spend their money and their weekends.
the gates are closed, do not touch the gates, move away from the gates. Any further attempts to approach the gates will result in this message being played again. The sun sets majestically behind the walled town of Edam. Yeah, what about that, huh? The same thing happened last time I came here. Some coincidence. It's no coincidence. Didn't I explain about that? No, you didn't. I must have missed a bit. Ah, here we are. Edam. A famous town where the rich and frivolous spend their money and their weekends. Edam is under a curse of perpetual night where the rays of dawn may never reach. Any more information? That's all it says. Thanks for being so efficient a narrator. That's why I'm here. What was that? Was that the sun? Don't know. I've never seen the sun before. Me neither. You don't suppose it's morning, do you? Don't think so. I think morning's supposed to stick around for a while. At least until lunch. The brochure is now broken. And will no longer light up your life with its rays of sunny advertising. Something else you've forgotten to tell me? Ah, yes. Just one little thing. Edam is under a curse of perpetual night where the rays of dawn may never reach and any artificial source of sunlight will be damaged by this curse. You're doing this on purpose! What? Bark. 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 What's with this bark business? Go tell it to the tree people. Bark. 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 There you go again. If you want bark, you won't get it from me. <laughs> I've got better things to do than just strip the rind off a woody perennial. Bark. You've got strong looking teeth. Go get your own bark. I don't want any barking bark. 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 Then why do you keep saying it? It's all in the Hound to Hell training manual. Say bark to would-be trespassers. Aren't you supposed to actually bark? Like this. My approach seems to be working fine. Nobody's gotten past me yet. Bark. 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 Don't you ever wag your tail? Only when I'm happy. Woof. Aren't you happy now? I'm chained to a rock outside a second-rate barrel, guarding it from creeps like you who think they can get something for nothing and who haven't done a decent day's work in their lives. And I'm cold. And I'm hungry. And I'm stuck in a banal conversation. Oh yeah. I'm ecstatic. Woof. Woof. Perhaps if you wag your tail, you might make yourself happy. How do you figure? By wagging your tail, you will release endorphins into your brain, 
and you'll be fooled into a state of pure joy. You watch a lot of daytime TV. I can tell. Your name's Tommy, isn't it? Back. You know my name. Uh-huh. I saw it written in your food bowl on the way up here. Uh, that's all a terrible mistake. Perhaps it's just a million to one series of typos. It is your bowl, isn't it? Woof. Is that a yes or a no? That's a woof. In the affirmative. So there's no mistake. Okay. So now you know my true name. I must do your bidding. It's the rules, you see. If a mortal learns the true name of a hound of hell, that hound must do whatever the mortal says. How very convenient. So tell me what I must do. To me, remain calm while I enter the barrow. Hey! I'm calm. I'm calm. But you gotta let me enter the barrel! No woofing way. You have to do it, I say! Now that I know your one true name! Oh, that. Just my little joke. An example of our hellhound. Humor. Keep away. Or your canine chow. I don't know. Bark. 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 It's a 69 Passion Wagon. That's practically a classic. Don't touch that. It's hot. I don't know. I don't. Trust you ain't stupid enough to try and get inside this bash without an invitation and a wedding gift. That would be very dumb indeed. Invitation and gift? <laughs> of course I know that. I'm no jerk. However, I'm a bit asthmatic. <clears throat> Please, no sympathy. I seem to have left my inhaler at home. I'll be right back.
thy quest is too important to waste time talking. Go thou onward, facing danger, peril, and certain doom. There is no time. This is. Thank you. Thank you very much. You sound so much better! I surely do, friend. And I want to thank you for helping me out there. What can I get you? How about tickets to a show? Hmm. My Vegas show is all sold out. Let me see now. I got the Dead in San Fran. Two on the aisle for the road company at Cats in Tucson. Ah, yeah. Here. You'll love this show. I'm not sure how to proceed. What would you do if you were in my position? Well, that's easy for you to say. Ah. Returning the costume already? Why, thank you. Not all of my customers are so prompt. May I once again be of some assistance? Yes. I want to hire a costume. Let me see if we have anything that would suit you. I like the look of this one. Can you afford such an outfit? No. Then I must encourage you to select something else. My, what big teeth you've got, Grandma! All the better to... Oh, not now. I'm not in the mood. What vexes thee? Eh? Oh, you mean what's bothering me. It's my grandson, of course. He's missing, and I just wish I had something to do. Some small, mindless task to distract me from my worries. doesn't interest me anymore.
welcome to my brothers, Safari and Eden. It's meaningless conversation. More skid marks than Monaco in Grand Prix week. No, wait. There's bound to be somewhere cleaner later on. Oh dear, this mailbag is all that remains of Jim Lightning Loftus, the fastest mailman this side of the Calibre Pass. I guess this is the ultimate occupational hazard, delivering a letter to the trolls. Sorry, the bucket has rusted itself to a freak iron deposit that runs through the rocky floor. It's impossible to move. You ain't on the guest list. Get out of here. Don't speak, just listen. The time for talk is past. <laughs> Time for a
on the masses who threaten to take away my long johns. Yo, feeble one, what's shaking? Apparently, I am. Nerves aren't what they used to be. But then again, what is? I remember when I of Newt was a nickel. Now you can't get the bugger's eyelash for that price. Me thinks you've been locked away at high altitudes a tad too long, old bent over one. Hey, Speak up! Your lips move, but gibberish comes out. You're lucky, though. At least something comes out of you. My prunes aren't quite doing the trick, if you catch my meaning. I'd rather not. Eh? You filled with snot? Oh, joy! Someone who likes to discuss body fluids! Pull up a chair. Let's talk phlegm! <coughs> that was a close one. Okay, okay, I'm halting, I'm halting. You're not carrying any weapons, are you? Oh, no. <laughs> what about that? This? That? It's a loaf of bread. A packed lunch. Packing a lunch? I promise I won't make crumbs. Promise? I promise. Okay, go on in. What's this then? You're not allowed in here. Tell me, are you as much of a pea-brained moron as they say? Come on, you fool. Big up. I'm not deaf. You're a rather rude sort, aren't you? How dare you call me rude? I have a right mind to cut you off at the knees. I'd be frightened, but it looks like someone's already cut yours off. Are you calling me short? If the height fits. I hate you, I hate you, I hate you!
I'm afraid I've no patience for the evil likes of you. Perfect. Nobody will miss the High Steward with this lifelike decoy on the throne. Forget it, you'll never fit. You can't go in there. I'm back! Hey, Goliath! Good war, was it? Smashing! Oh? Smash bones, smash property, smash the enemy good and proper! And all thanks to these shoes of yours. Hey, tell me what I can do for you in return. I'll take whatever's going. Are you related to the Queen of DeLorean? No. Second cousin? Uh, no. Twice removed? Uh, not even that. Oh well, I can't offer you much. As you know, war's an expensive business. Here come the excuses. But I can show you the secret entrance to the dwarfish halls of treasure. Sounds promising. That's the one. And so it came to pass that Goliath did lead Sydney 
by secret ways and forgotten paths to the great mountains north of Flake Town. There, Goliath revealed the cunningly fashioned signs visible only to those learned in the ways of dwarves and the secret entrance to the caves under the mountain hidden beyond the wit of men and so on and so forth. You get the idea. How do I open that big door there? You don't. No? No. Only dwarves can open it. Can you see through into the main halls from there? Oh, blimey, Gav! I can't see a thing. There's a dirty great dragon in the way. Just as I planned. Indeed I am powerful, as the Emperor has foreseen. Going down in a blaze of glory? Indeed thou art. Leave that stool alone. Later on in the game, somebody very important is going to come in and sit on that stool. And if some thieving little adventurer has taken it, they'll fall on their behind and there'll be trouble. Is that what you want? Wake me up. I'm all barked out. Ain't you heard you gotta let sleeping dogs lie? Trouble with fear near mortal. I am the ghost of a sparrow and you're trespassing. Leave this place immediately or you will experience regret. The words, 
Here lies King Olaf the Ninth, undisputed winner of the Let's See Who Can Lean Over the Cliff Farthest competition, are carved into the lid in large courier rooms. You've been warned. This is for your own ghost, you grey robber from outer space, you. It's a deluxe stone tomb, air-conditioned, with a spacious interior, mahogany lining, and all the words to my way inscribed on the lid. Tremble with fear, mere mortal. It's just a small stone, and it's not doing anybody any It's a weapon. It's a fashion statement. It's a mallet. The barrels are too heavy to move. I'd like lodging for the night. Well, certainly. One gold piece for a room, but you'll have to share. What? Why didn't you tell me that before I paid? You wouldn't have paid. I might? Who do I have to share with? Not who. What? It's a cat. I don't want to sleep with an animal. Well, that's what the Queen of DeLorean said when she stayed here last week. But you should have seen who she came in with. I am not interested in salacious gossip. Oh? Well, I am. But not now. I'm tired. Show me to my room. A little pussy doesn't bother me. Well, up the stairs. Door at the end of the hall. And be sure to sleep with your clothes on. Can't you read?
There's something under the bed. Why? It's a lady's hand mirror. The lamp has been securely glued to... A hard-shaped bed, how romantic. Um, tell me, barkeep, um, why is Edam under shadow of perpetual night? No idea, but it suits me. Why is that prayer? Perpetual night means perpetual social drinking and lenient liquor laws. Give me gossip. Well, the Dark Lord used to drink here every night, but now I hear he's given up alcohol and adopted genocide as his chosen vice. It's probably for the best, though. Drinking too much can be antisocial. Give me gossip. You know that Terence, the weird magical guy with the pointy hat? He's come around here a few times and tried to make friends with our cat. Nasty outcome. Just goes to show you, you can have all the spell casting powers in the world, but it won't help you stroke something that doesn't want to be stroked. Give me gossip. I hear that the guards of Edam Town were caught sleeping on the job. Now we'll have all kinds of riffraff coming in here. Give me. Now you might accuse me of trying to discredit my competitors with outright lies. But the fact is that the innkeeper in Flaketown rubs dirt into his customer's sheets. Oh, that can't be true. Well, okay, it's not true. I am trying to discredit my competitors with outright lies. Lodging, please. If you want a drink, I don't. There's something about that window. It makes me think of illicit rendezvous, of brief encounters, of ships that pass in the night of, uh, well, you know what I mean. The barrels are... I don't know...
this is nine of the time nor the place to be hello you must be my new neighbor ghost from the next barrel I expect you've come over to borrow a cup of sugar or something, haven't you? Yes, of course you have. Well, here's an old cup-like chalice thing. Sorry I haven't got any sugar to put in it. Bye. This is nine of the time nor the place to be wearing such a thing. believe we've been introduced. Oh, yes. I would certainly have remembered you. <laughs> I'm glad we were able to clear that up. It'll probably save a great deal of confusion later on. <laughs> right then. We must do this again sometime. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, but not uh, soon, though. No. Until we speak again, then. Later. Don't say another word. I understand you perfectly. I don't know what you're trying to... I'm sure you know nobody gets inside without a wedding invitation and a gift. You think I'd come all this way unprepared? Yeah. You look like the stupid kind. Well, surprise, Guido. Feast your peepers on this. No. Hey, that's a dry cleaning receipt. Ooh, ooh, mm. Gotta remember to pick up those shelves on Thursday. Here's my invite. All right. Go on in. Presents go on the table. So you're here for the ceremony, eh? That's right. Unless you know something I don't. Of course I do. I was a Jeopardy $100,000 champ. Two years running. Balls. What are round spherical objects used in sports and sperm production? Quite impressive. That's exactly what Alex Trebek told me. Friend, come here and kiss my ring. Don't slobber on it. <sighs> you come to my house on the day of my daughter's wedding, you bring a lovely gift. You show respect. What exactly are you after? I like the look of that hamster over there. What kind of sick person are you? Get out of my house! You can't just mistreat someone and then expect them to sit down for a cosy chat with you. F*** you! 
you fine head. I'm talking here. Didn't your mother tell you it's rude to interrupt you, ignorant? You come back to me on the day of my daughter's wedding. You clean up some trash in my courtyard. Oh, really, Donald Rondo, it was nothing. Well, since you put it that way, take this very small token of my appreciation and get out of my sight at the earliest possible opportunity. Curious, Your Majesty. Does the name Big Jim Slade mean anything to you? Uh, no. Should it? Well, I don't know. I discovered his signature in this hotel register. It's right here next to someone called Galadrag, I think. That could be anyone. There are lots of people with the same name as me. Perhaps. And then again, perhaps not. Is this your mirror? You found it. I haven't seen that since. Ah. So you admit it, you streetwalking slut, you painted tart, you. Yes, and I loved every sticky, vibrating, lecherous minute of it. So there. Worry not. You can buy my silence with a bottle of lavatory cleaner. In exchange for any incriminating evidence you might have. Enjoy. Before you start, I think we've exhausted all the interesting topics of conversation at our disposal. Perhaps a spell apart would do us both good.
Just leave it until it stops moving. Why I insist that the world must be mine! More skid marks.
It's a tradition. It's one of those useless magnetic security card swipe things that never seem to work. There has to be an easier way to get in and out of places like this. Leave them. You don't have time to learn how to read. You've got a It's good to have something to read when you... A no smoking sign. Proof that the wizard Marshgarth is evil. No smoking signs are an infringement of smokers' civil liberties. We have enough to worry about, what with lung cancer and heart disease, without having some miserable do- I wouldn't use that toilet if I were you, it's blocked. No need for that. This toilet is equipped with Magic Rim Block, the unwisely titled bleach dispenser that cleans as you fly. Yes, it is a bit confusing, 
but the reasons for this will become clear when you buy Kingdom O Magic 2 available eventually from SCI. The Sabre O Light, a specialist weapon for Again? Did you bring a friend like I asked you to? I brought a sheep. Does that count? A challenge. <laughs> hmm, I wonder why he ran off like that. Probably anxious to show off his new style. I expect so. Whew, that was tiring. Here, old woman, take this wool and knit yourself a new grandson. Oh dear, that's not quite enough for a new grandson, but... But here's a nice set of family underthings. May they bring you great happiness. What can I say? I'm thrilled. Oh. Anyway, now that I've served my purpose in this adventure, I'm off. SCI has offered me a part in their new XS game. Apparently, I play a character called, uh, oh yes, Shrapno Victim. Whatever that means. Uh, see you around. I doubt it. tell of any so fair. Is this the garment that Grandalf spoke of? Then he undervalued it. But it is well given. What are you talking about? A pray forgive me. The magnitude of your gift caused my mind to wander, but I'm much better now. I'll take your word for it. And now I must go to try these on. Take this Elven King's gift voucher in with my grateful thanks. Farewell. It's an elven gift voucher, yet it bears an uncanny resemblance to our warrant o death.
It's a traditional stone door, fashioned by the cunning dwarves in the traditional way, badly fitting with the lock bolt partially exposed. Ah, that's craftsmanship! I don't know what you're... There's no point pouring bleach down there. The Somebody from around here hasn't been feeling very well recently. Let me think this through. You're an elf, right? No, I'm the Pope. Of course I'm an elf. Then I assume my elven gift voucher is redeemable here. That and any bottles and cans you got, we're big on recycling. So, who do you want us to hit? Now that you mention it, there's a dragon I know. Consider it taken care of. And now, another Crime Smashes exclusive reconstruction. Earlier today, this fire-breathing dragon on a peaceful mission to the gold vaults of Flake Town. I say, young man, how much does thou want for this? Stopped at the barrel of local fruit seller, Mark Nixon. Take them all with my blessing, pal the dragon. How did thou know my name? His three assailants are described as elvish, smartly dressed, and extremely similar. Were you in the area? Did you see anything that might be helpful? Perhaps you were standing only two feet away, filming everything on a handy camcorder? The wounded dragon was later robbed while recovering in his treasure rooms. Thou shalt never get away with this. At times like this, I guess I should be scared. <laughs> so if you remember anything that might make an interesting follow-up report, call us now on the number we'll give you at the end of the program.